Good morning! Welcome to Food Porn Friday. So this is a special edition because I like to cook things and I like to post them on Fridays and I figured doing a video would help. This would make it more fun. So this is me in my homeland of the kitchen. Yeah. So I like cooking on my own. The thing about this particular edition of Food Porn Friday is it's 6.30 in the morning. I don't know what I'm doing with myself, but I'm very courageous. I'm very excited. I'm very, I'm thinking of new words. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this off. Uh, I'm very enthusiastic. The thing about this special edition is that it's 6.30 in the morning. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but I'm very enthusiastic. Okay, let's get cooking. So today I'm gonna do a basic steak because I love me some steak and I'm making meat to get a man that's all we do ladies that's all we're here for right. number one rule for cooking steak oil the meat not the pan but I don't live by anybody else's rules Ooh, look at that oil go look at that oil go um let's get some gas going Oh, let's not get some gas going. Ha! There we go. That's the wrong pan. Let's get the wrong going. Okay, it's going, it's cooking, it's heating. Hot pan, that's what you need. Um, salt, obviously, flavor the meat. It's important. And obviously, this original braai salt is the best one to use ever. Don't let anybody tell you any different. I'm not salty. I could sope. I could sope. I don't know what he does with his hand when he does this whole thing. Woo! Sope. So I realized that I've picked the wrong angle for this dress because it looks great from this angle, from this side. But then I'm standing like this where it's basically, there's a lot of blue going on. It's okay. Um, I'm not feeling self-conscious about this at all. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> It's in the pan off for salt bay because you don't want a too wild salt bay and then boom, boom, it can be explosive. Explosive. Yeah, so we've got all the essentials. All right, I'll give you a, a rundown of the ingredients. We got rye salt, the best salt. Um, I am not being sponsored yet. Marina, if you're listening, salt. <laughs> Bry salt. Yeah, okay. We've got all these special ingredients. Okay, this is just like any typical me cooking in the kitchen thing. We got we got some we got some steak. We got some olive oil and some salad ingredients. I pretend to be healthy on occasion. And and we've got a very healthy amount of me speaking to myself. There's nothing weird about this, okay? Uh, there's nothing weird about this. Ooh. I actually want to get this on video. Mm. Oh yeah. In it goes. In it goes. Mm. Now that's the sizzle that you want. It would be better if it was a man bag. But whatever. We got this company in it. Okay. Let's not burn ourselves on the first video, that would be good. Thank you. I'm gonna let that cook. That's good. Wow. Wow. Okay. My favorite, favorite, yellow nut. This one has a pink sister. Pink sister. Oh, it's a real bad. I'm gonna be seeing it again. I hope we'll be seeing it again. I was actually doing that one. Um, so the thing about cucumber, right? I don't know if you can hear me over this thing. I'll do it again. The thing about cucumber is that it's really hard to clean and not feel weird about it. It's like it's really weird to clean without feeling weird about it, right? You can't you can't make eye contact with cleaning your cucumber. Don't do it. I mean you can if you want to make someone feel really awkward or you're hitting on somebody, then it's appropriate. Um, yeah, you can't make eye contact or, you can't make eye contact while cleaning your cucumber, you definitely can't. 
lesson. I'm not very good at chopping like the devil. <laughs> right, cucumber time. No eye contact with me in this lesson of this cucumber. Okay, we got the steak. Sizzling! Sizzling! And we got chips. Baby tongues. Right. They still work. We're fine. Ooh. I think I got distracted. <gasps> nope, nope. I would say that that is perfect. Now to the other side. This is just a classic rump from my favorite place, but you're going to think less of me. You probably won't. It's chicken. Steakhouse classic. Oh my word. The best. Hold on. Making salad. Because that's exciting for a Friday. The whole point of this, by the way, is um, just to get you into my world a bit. Because I don't, I don't post much. I post a lot of pictures of stand comedy. I post a lot of um, stupid things I see and think. But this is something that I genuinely love. I mean, I love. That sounds like, I don't love the stupid things. Um, no, I love sound comedy so much, obviously. Uh, but I'm very precious about my material, I'm not gonna lie. So posting videos on my material is really hard. But this, this is, this is me, just cooking. I'm never gonna do this again. Well, I probably will next week, because it looks fake. Um, alright, that's enough. Cucumber. That's all. Not very prepared. I'm honest, but like I said, it's 6.30 in the morning. I think I get forgiveness for looking like this at 6.30 in the morning. Um, I've been watching a lot of, ow, fuck me. <laughs> that was just in a puddle of oil. This is why this is what this I think I figured out the rule now, guys. <laughs> I think I figured out the rule that <laughs> you shouldn't oil the pan, you should oil the meat. I think I found out why. <laughs> okay, looks good, sounds good, amazing. We're gonna let that rest for a couple minutes. That's also another key to cooking steak, let it rest and get all soft and the juices all like cook up inside. By juices, I mean the blood from the animal that you killed. Well, you didn't kill it, so it's fine. You just bought it in a packet, so <laughs> let somebody else do that. Um, we yeah, have things to say at 6.30 in the morning. Pretty bad. Avocado. I'm going to show you a fun trick on how to open an avocado. Um, that sounds like it's still cooking. I'm going to take it off. Uh, another key thing to cooking meat because I did microbiology and a bit of food science and I'm scared of diseases. No, the stereosis was calmed in, this, in the making of this video. No listeriosis was harmed in the making of this video. Um, put it on a clean plate or something to keep it resting because you don't want to put it back on the raw plate. Um, that's just asking for diseases, if I'm honest. Um, some people get sick at rice because you take the chicken out of the packet with the sauce, then you cook it on the fry with the sauce, then you pour the raw sauce onto the chicken later. <laughs> then you wonder why you got food poisoning at the braai. Or well, yummy, fucked up. You got listeriosis is what I'm saying. And it is not the packaging company's problem. Oh, it's smoky in here. Okay. Okay, cool. We got some steak. We got... Some avocado, right? Avocado. This have a very short attention span, so this is going to be a lot of chopping and changing. Okay, fun trick to cut avocado. You cut it in the skin, right? I'm going to do it lengthways because I have a cool idea how to serve this shit. Cut it nicely in little slices in the skin. Hass works the best, the one with the hard shell. Yes, I'm an avocado, so I'm not really. I only know there's Hass and the other one. And the other one, you can slice through the skin really easily. Um, 
Then you take a spoon, spooning your avocado. Take it under the skin like that. And it just pops out. Clean skin, full avocado. That's a fun trick my mom told me that her aunt did apparently at some point and she's just stuck with it for life. Okay. So, as much as I love avocado, I also hate it. Uh, and this is the story of the pink knife. <laughs> the pink knife's not gone, guys. It's just been taken away for a while because it was naughty. Okay. Love the pink knife. I hope it does make a return because I definitely plan to use it on the next one. Okay, not the next one. Let's see. So, the thing... <laughs> what happened? It was a lovely... Sunday evening. Yeah, I'm still a little bit self-conscious about the dress choice and the angle of the camera. Uh, it was a lovely Sunday evening. I was just making salad for the whole family. Everybody sitting outside. And the apple attacked. Or the knife. I don't know. They were in cahoots, okay? Cahoots is a weird word. I don't use the word cahoots a lot. But I'm going to say that the avo and the pink knife were in cahoots, right? Um, I was cutting open an avocado on a casual Sunday evening. Just making some light salad for the family while stepdad was on the braai. While dad was on the braai. Yeah, he doesn't do the chicken thing. He's more cuck scared than Lucerio, of Lucerios than any of us. He's never eaten bologna in his life. Yeah, that may not be the reason why he's not even below me. Right. Um, right. The avocado attacked, or the pig knife attacked. We don't know. They were in cahoots. I kind of like that word now. Uh, they were in cahoots, is what I'm going to say. They... I was cutting open the avo, basically, and the pit, you know, the middle part that I just threw it away. The pit in the middle, knife went straight through. Straight through. And into my hand and then what it did as a great excellent first aid trained person I wasn't at the time threw my hand under the sink now the thing about blood is it's invented it's invented or evolved or whatever it is you believe <laughs> God made blood very clever if you believe such things that it's supposed to clot so that it goes and then stops the bleeding right this didn't happen or it's actually very sticky as also it sticks the skin together if it breaks this is getting grosser. Right, <laughs> I put my hand under the water, which means it couldn't clot. So it was just blood running and water running. I made it in the sink was just full of blood. And my mom walked in, almost fainted. And then I went to the emergency room, which is just up the road because we're smart with our lifestyle choices. Let's go with that. Um, yeah. <laughs> my mom and I said, with the doctor getting stitched up and, and my stepdad calls, hey, and my dad calls, hey, how you doing? Everything cool? Okay. Can we eat? I was like, sure, just clean the blood up first. Ew. Anyway. Uh, so that's my story about why the pink knife has gone away for a while. So I had a cool idea with this, so I'm just going to serve that, and then I'll figure the rest out later. Hey, steak time, slice up that meat. I should probably get a shot of me slicing up the meat, right? It's not as fun as... <laughs> hey, look at me! You can't see what I'm doing. Oh well, that's your problem. You're probably on Instagram. That's fine. This video is going to take a lot of editing on a very small cell phone. Anyway, I think this is too thick. I've cut it too thick, although not really. It's kind of the same thickness as the other. You guys know caprese salad? I'm saying this like I'm talking to a bunch of people that are watching this. It's probably like, Mom, hi, Mom. <laughs> One person watching my video. I'm totally okay with that. Right, I want to serve this in a way that I think is pretty artistic because as a scientist I don't get many chances to be artistic. No, this is too thick. This is not going to work. This is not going to work in my head. How do I make this? 
it's thinner. It's not going to go thinner. Okay. We'll just have to be creative. This is not... Ah, better idea. Okay. There we go. That's what we want. There. That's what we want. Yeah, this, okay, this is turning into uh, sushi rather than caprese, but that's fine. Keep going. <laughs> Pretend like this was the plan. Have a safe face. Okay, great. Uh, more steak there. More avocado. Yeah, this is going to be disappointing for the cucumber fans out there because... <laughs> I sliced cucumber mainly for the joke, okay? I <laughs> don't actually want to use the cucumber. All right, I think that looks great. We're going to cut up some cherry tomatoes to make it look pretty. And I'm going to use some roller towel to clean my hands, my hands, my hands. My... Okay, this is going to work. Um, so for anybody who is thinking that I'm talking to myself as much, for the purpose of the camera, um, <laughs> honey, that's supposed to mean, uh, no, I'm not, I just talk to myself all the time, yeah, this one, this one's kicking me a bit though, because, like, I love cooking in the kitchen, I normally have my laptop here, playing some Netflix or Showmax, because love local, I'm watching Cougar Thomas on local, anyway, um, drinking a glass of wine, drinking to myself, uh, I rarely have friends over because I don't have friends, but that is a sad, sad story for another day, maybe over pasta and cake, maybe I'll make cake <laughs> and cry about my lack of friendship, that's fine, okay, slicing, okay, so this is going to sound very ridiculous because I'm literally slicing up baby tomatoes, but I think the effect will be worth it. What we have is real and we will always be together. Okay, I also always sing to myself with the latest pop tunes like <laughs> that I think that was from High School Musical 3. <laughs> the latest pop tunes on my Google Play. That's a lie. I watch YouTube for music. Okay, let's get this. Okay. That looks pretty good, actually. Um, I know that you can't see anything that I am doing, but I have not thought this through very well for now. Okay, I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the basil pesto. Things are getting real. You don't get it. This is weird. Okay, so... I was watching a YouTube video the other day of comedians cooking like this and I was like, these guys have no personality, it's so boring, I can totally do it better. Am I? <laughs> Am I? I don't think so. Okay, basil pesto is like God's given gift to the world. That and guacamole. And if you mix them together, oh my word, it's amazing. Pesto guacamole, that's what I should do next. I should make pesto guacamole like from scratch. The only things that pine out are like super expensive and I don't have a sponsor for this shit yet because I'm optimistic. <laughs> you have to be at 6.30 in the morning. Kids probably pass that by now. How long is this video? This is going to be a long one. Okay. That looks pretty. I like that. Okay. Right. Um... In the creation, in the beginning of time, there was cows and vegetables, and then humans fucked it up. So now here we are, an amalgamation of humans and cows. No, no humans in the dish. Uh, here we are with an amalgamation of Amazing! Happy Food Porn Friday!